40 Shiv Sena MLAs there in with Eknath Shinde in the rebel camp. Yesterday, uh, Ratnadeep, in the afternoon, there was a letter sent to the governor with 30 signatures. And now he has that uh, the majority uh, with him. Uh, there are uh, 40, you said, uh, four more arrived as well as six independents. So that means uh, 46 in all. And the BJP is so relaxed now that they have... Uh, they're not, they've not even got any representative there watching over the hotel, as you said, though there is still security at the hotel. That's correct. That's correct. In fact, uh, uh, what uh, we can share with our viewers is that uh, the two uh, uh, powerful BJP ministers who were for the last uh, uh, you know 24 hours overseeing uh, the uh, developments here, they uh, are now overseeing the development only remotely. That's what BJP sources are telling us. So, therefore, there is no leader, uh, BJP leaders inside. In fact, uh, 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 the chief minister himself is in Barak Valley in Silchar, where there, there, is, there are devastating floods. Uh, in fact, the chief minister also did not visit uh, the uh, MLAs uh, after they have arrived. So, uh, it seems that Assam BJP at this moment uh, is, uh, is, is relaxed uh, with the development. Only the security has been beefed up. And... Uh, uh, our sources within Assam BJP uh, are claiming that it is the matter is settled for a question. That's the exact word they are using. All right, so Ratnadeep there bringing us that big breaking news that uh, Eknath Shinde has crossed that uh, magic number of uh, two-thirds majority, which was uh, 37 Shiv Sena MLAs. He now has 40 MLAs uh, with him there. Four more arrived this morning. So since yesterday afternoon, uh, Ratnadeep, we've seen that more and more MLAs leaving uh, Mumbai to join uh, Eknath Shinde there in Guwahati. Uh, last night, there were three, then another three early in the morning and now another four have just arrived. That's correct. In fact, uh, uh, you know, there has been a uh, 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 flood of uh, Maha Maharashtra MLAs in Assam. Assam is battling floods, but this is a political flood that we saw at Radisson Blue. Uh, and, uh, you know, in batches they arrived uh, and uh, there were a mix of people in every batch. Uh, none of the batch exclusively had Tifsena MLAs. You had a mix of Tifsena as well as independent. And now, uh, although, uh, you know, we'll have to wait for the official headcount, which should come from Ekmat Sinde's side. But if uh, the, uh, what sources are telling us, if it is true, and it seems that it is true because uh, since yesterday, uh, uh, we have been breaking, uh, you know, one after another information on this developing story. But if uh, the figures that we are getting is true, then uh, Mr. Shinde should be in a comfortable uh, position now. Right, more than comfortable if there are 40 Shiv Sena MLAs there in the hotel uh, in Guwahati. Uh, so that is the big breaking news. Look at those visuals of the MLAs arriving. They're all smiles, uh, being greeted by the others in the rebel camps. Even as uh, yesterday, you had Udav Thakre making that emotional appeal. He left uh, the official residence of the chief minister and he went to his uh, family home, Matoshi, which is very symbolic. Remember, that is Bala Sahib Thakre's uh, was his residence and... Uh, uh, he left uh, for uh, th for there and a lot of Shiv Senex came out on the roads. Uh, there you can see uh, Aditya Thakre also from the visuals last night. But this is these are the visuals from inside the hotel right now in Guwahati as those rebel MLAs, uh, more of them have arrived there. Let's go across to Akshay now who joins us uh, from Guwahati. And Akshay, game over uh, for the Thakres now. Uh, they've got a majority with them in the Shinde camp. It seems if according to all these calculations that there are 40 Shiv Sena MLAs in that hotel right now. Well, absolutely, Gargi. Now, troubles uh, mounting uh, with each and every passing minute for the government, uh, and it seems that it is, in fact, game over as far as Udav Thakre's uh, government is concerned. So, uh, uh, the, the thing that now remains to be seen is that whether Eknath Shinde will now make his move, whether he will move back to Mumbai or will he stay here and try to break some more MLAs? Because uh, one challenge that still lies ahead for Eknath Shinde. Uh, is uh, that when he goes to Mumbai, whether there there are certain MLAs who will uh, who would in fact be willing to change sides as soon as they are back 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 in Mumbai? Uh, because we we have been seeing that uh, Udav Thakre has in fact asked uh, the shift in MLAs of coming and speaking with him, and if uh, uh, the, he he in fact even has proposed that if an, an another shift and wants to become chief minister, hinting at Ekna Shinde, then he is fine with it. So, uh, uh, remains to be seen that what exactly happens now, whether Ekman Shinde, uh, with this two-third majority, will take, uh, take claim of the politics of, of Shiv Sena, 
uh, whether he will be aligning with the Bharatiya Janata Party because that is going to be a tricky task for Eknath Shinde uh, because uh, taking power from a Shiv Sainik, taking power from uh, Bala Sahib Pakistan and giving it to uh, a BJP leader in, in all probability, uh, Mr. Fadnav is uh, the ex-chief minister. Will uh, be will be in fact uh, a shocker to a lot of Shiv Sena supporters. In fact, uh, that was also uh, a card. Uh, the Thakre was in fact lying on, saying that if if uh, another Shiv Sena wants to become chief minister, he is willing to step down. So now remains to be seen that what exactly is going to be the move of Eknath Chinde now. Whether he will continue to stay here, continue to in fact break away some more MLAs because clearly the MLAs that are now with uh, Udhav Thakre, they they in fact are in minority. Absolute minority. They don't even have uh, half half the numbers. In fact, they are one third uh, as far as the total number of MLAs of Shiv Sena are concerned. So uh, it is going to be a tricky task for uh, for Eknath Shinde as well as uh, now uncertainty uh, for uh, the Mahavikas Agadi government uh, is at an all time high in Maharashtra. Right, uh, though for the moment, as far as, you know, what we're hearing uh, from the Thakre camp, in a sense, if we're to, you know, consider what uh, Sanjay Raut just said uh, to the media, and he claims that they're in touch with many of these MLAs. So, as you said, Akshay, the real test or the next, you know, big development will be when this uh, entire group of these rebel MLAs come, returns uh, to Mumbai and what really happens because uh, there is talk that, you know, th things could change on the floor of the house. So, that is a, a kind of googly that Sanjay Raut seems to be trying to play. Well, absolutely, absolutely, Gargi. In fact, uh, the the uh, biggest biggest uh, uh, thing that is now going to happen as far as Maharashtra politics is concerned is that uh, uh, how how Eknath Shinde uh, is is that to see that how Eknath Shinde will in fact keep this block together when he returns to Maharashtra because that is when the biggest challenge for him begins to uh, in fact keep his block together because right now while while he has two third it seems he has two third uh, majority uh, of Shiv Sena MLAs. Uh, keeping all of them together and uh, avoiding any any breakaway uh, from this uh, from this group uh, that is going to be the biggest challenge. So uh, Eknath Shinde, uh, in all probability, will uh, uh, will try to break away some more MLAs uh, so that when even if uh, a couple of MLAs uh, break away from his faction and join the other Thakre camp, uh, he still has a two-third majority. Otherwise, if uh, uh, if he loses this two-third majority uh, when he returns to Mumbai. He, uh, he uh, and other MLAs face, uh, face disqualification under the anti-defection law.